Hello, I'm April from Piano Lessons Info, and in this video we are going to learn all the names of all the notes, white and black. So the first thing you need to learn in music is that it has an alphabet. So the music alphabet is seven letters long, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then it repeats again on A. So if we get to G, we start over on A. There is a pattern on the piano keyboard that helps you to know which note is which. So if you look, you'll see the pattern of two black keys, three black keys, two black keys, three black keys. Okay, so this pattern helps you to know which note is which. Let's start with the group of two black keys. The notes on the left of the two black keys, this one, is C. So every note on the left of the group of two is C. So that's C, that's C, that's C. So we got our group of two, group of two, group of two. Okay, so that's how you know where C is. So every time I introduce a new note, um, you can pause the video and you can play every note of that one on the whole piano. So pause here and play every C on the piano keyboard. The note in the middle of the group of two, so here's our group of two, the note right in the middle is D. So now you've got two ways to know which one D is. First, it comes after C in the music alphabet, so A, B, C, D, and also it's in the group of two. So for kids I say D is a dinosaur living in the dinosaur den. So pause here and play every D. The note on the right of the group of two is E. E comes after D, so C, D, E. And you can play every E now. Let's move on to the group of three black keys. So we've got our group of three. The note on the left of the group of three is F. For kids, I say F is a frog that goes hop, hop, hop. Okay, if that helps you remember, you use it. Okay, so this is F, so now play every F. The note on the other side, the right side of the group of three is B. I like to think of B as a ball falling down the stairs. So that's B. Notice C is next door, so that's your group of two. That's your B group of three. Okay, play every B. So we've got two notes left, G and A. G comes after F. It's in the middle of the group of three, left side. So we've got F, G. The next one we've got is A, because the music alphabet starts all over again. So F, G, A, B. Okay, so A is the right, of the, the two stuck in the middle of that group of three. Okay, so play every G, play every A. So your job now is to make sure you learn and remember all of these notes. You can do this by making a few flashcards and just flip, it, flip a card over and whatever letter it says, you find that one. And um, you can also do draw a diagram of the keys and just fill in the blank, fill in random keys so that you can learn which is which. But what we're going to do now is go on to the black notes. Now for the black notes. Black notes are connected to the names on the white keys, so they don't have their own letter name or anything. They're going to have uh, something sharp or something flat. So how you know is in relation to where it is, so I will explain it all. So. We're gonna use the words sharp and flat here. A sharp is the very next note to the right. A flat is the very next note to the left. So either one can be a white or a black key. Okay, we're gonna do sharps first. So for example, let's look at C. The very next note to C is this one, the black key here. So what this makes is its name C sharp. Okay, so this is C sharp, because it's the very next note to the right. Let's go to G. The very next note to the right is this one. This is G sharp. Now let's look at B. The very next note to the right is C. There's no black note in the middle here. 
So technically this can be B sharp, okay? It's also got the name C. All right, so sharps are written as a number sign or a hash sign. Now for the flats. Flats are opposite of a sharp. It's the very next note to the left, whether it's black or white. So we'll look at D first. The very next note to the left is this one. This is D flat. So this can be called C sharp or D flat. There are theory rules about which one you'd call it and for now you don't need to know about them. It's just so you know how to play it when you see it. Okay, let's go to A next. We've got A. The very next note to the left is this one. This is A flat. So you have also learned it's G sharp, right? So two names, that's fine, that's normal. Okay, let's go to F. The very next note to the left is a white key, also known as E. So this can be also called F flat because it's the very next note to the left. Now you can go through the keyboard and first make sure you know all the names of the white keys and then after those you've got those down then work on trying to figure out what the black key names are so each one will have two names and so make sure you can name both of them.